the International Dialogue Center in Vienna, CAICID. And um, the title on the program is called NGO panel. And actually, we are opposite of an NGO. We, CAICID is an intergovernmental organization. It's a um, new uh, born organization by late 2012, formed by four governments, um, Austria, Spain, Saudi Arabia, and the Holy See, the Vatican as a founding observer. It's a unique by its nature, by its kind, by its, from its govern, uh, governance nature by having the Council of Party, which consists of the foreign ministries of these four governments and a board of directors that consists of religious leaders, representatives of five major religions, um, Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, and Judaism. The uniqueness of this organization is that it opens channels of dialogue between policymakers and religious leaders. Um, the, the organization is an interreligious rather than it's non-religious in its nature, but uh, so we don't advocate for a certain religion, but rather we advocate for dialogue among religions and cultures. Um, this is just a brief to, to, to give you the context of where this organization comes from. We've, we focus on peace building on, uh, uh, um, in four conflict zones that is having somehow a religious dimension in its nature, but also we function globally as it was founded to support the field of interreligious and intercultural dialogue. The, the programs we will see today uh, are in somehow, whether on, 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 on the institutional level, international, or on a grassroots youth-oriented project, my part will be um, just to show you the approach that CAICID is uh, uh, um, working and partnering uh, with youth, yeah? The generally, the, the, this panel is in somehow a little bit different than other panels. It will be less academic and more practical oriented. And uh, these, this is just a taste of some kind of the projects uh, we are doing. Um, yeah, this is Kaiseid. I told you a little bit about it, and this is our building in Vienna. We are based in Vienna, and uh, uh, but we function internationally, and we partner mainly. We partner usually with international organizations and UN agencies. We, we have MOUs with UNESCO. We work with UNDP. We work with them. Um, Office of uh, um, prov um, pre for Preventing Genocide and Atrocities, uh, and different internet OIC, Scouts Movement, and other international organizations. In engaging youth, actually, uh, um, my, my colleague uh, um, mentioned that often youth are uh, targeted as uh, future leaders. And this is what we usually uh, say when we, we target youth. First, like youth, is there is 1.8 billion those who are defined youth around the world. And so it is a significant group in, in our society. Uh, they are not only potential leaders for the future, they are current leaders. And there's hundreds of examples uh, where we are based in Austria, the, the, the foreign minister of Austria was 28 years old when, took, when he took office. office. And, and we can give hundreds of examples where youth actually leaders of today, leading movements and creating change, whether on the policy level or at the local and, and uh, uh, civil society level. Um, the second thing is youth for us is not should be only targeted in, in youth-oriented projects. We, we often like, we say youth, we have to do this kind of projects, but no youth should have the space uh, um, and be mean, um, um, main streamlined uh, uh, in, in different IRD projects. So, and also they are not only a target group, but also partners. And some of the programs you will hear today about is where youth actually the partners. The way we do that and, and, and um, is actually uh, um, we try to focus on the knowledge part, raising awareness of the importance of, of uh, some of our current challenges and the importance of interreligious dialogue, intercultural dialogue, and their role in that. 
We combine that with the skills. So we, do we have a training of trainers program. We try to provide trainings regarding building, the building their capacities as young leaders and facilitators in the society. And also we try to work on developing the environment, the right environment for that. This combination is actually what forms what is youth empowerment. Because often if we give them the skills and the, make them aware of the problem, and, but there is no opportunities for dissemination or taking an active role in that. I promised you to be <laughs> uh, brief. So in programming, usually, actually, um, we, we do that in four issues. We, we engage them in the, when it comes to youth programs, they are engaged from the beginning and, and in initiating and developing ideas. And you will see some of the examples on that. And uh, we consult them regularly in our programs. We hold sometimes what we call, we have consultations, what we call. We do women consultation, we do youth consultations, we do religious leaders consultations, and so we consult them on our program continuously. And um, we try to invite them, even if the programs are targeting policy makers, we try to make sure that uh, uh, young people are engaged in, in these programs. And also we encourage partners to do that. Some of the programs that we are doing, we have the training of trainers, the fellows program, and uh, um, the dialogue with the scouts. And um, I just want to say like the, the fellows program is targeting young uh, uh, teachers, junior faculties, uh, 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 at seminaries and institutions that train rel uh, future religious leaders. And we are building also a network from that. This is a one-year program that end of this month we will graduate the first court and we are welcoming the new one. And we are developing also an online course for interreligious dialogue in partnership with four or five universities and it's getting credited in some of those universities and it will be in the future a MOOT which is more an open uh, uh, online course. Um, we work on social media and as I said youth <coughs> consultations and media and, and social media literacy and uh, among other programs that targets youth. Um, yeah. This is my part for now and um, later you will hear some of my colleagues and our partners who uh, uh, can give you a better, more deeper taste of these kind of programs that we are doing. Thank you very much.